So, Seth Lehman, welcome back to Wickham. Thank you. Good to be back, yeah. How's it looking, apart from a bit muddy? Well, wellies are on, you know, and it looks like uh, lots of festivals. Uh, you know, there's uh, nostalgia all around me, really, with the... Um, yeah, the mud uh, and the music. No, it's, it's great though, good to be back. And at least we've managed to get it on. Exactly, you know, that's the thing. You've got it going and, you know, festivals haven't been happening for such a long time. So people, I think, are just excited to be out and about and enjoying music and, you know, merriment as you do at festivals. You know, it's been too long. There's very much a sense of that, watching the audience, just seeing the smiles and the delight to be watching live music once again. Absolutely, yeah, really hard times. Um, and, you know, a lot of it is, is, you know, spoken through music. And, you know, I think that's a powerful force. And it's important to have events like this, I think, to, you know, have some sort of uh, relief and respite from it all. Yeah. I imagine that uh, the pandemic and the lockdown may well inspire some creativity among artists because there'll be a lot to write about in terms of feelings, emotions and helplessness. Absol absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I personally have been very inspired over lockdown, written a record, recorded it, so I was working with the Theatre Royal and I wrote the music for a show there, so it was a theatre show, and sadly it never happened, everything came to an abrupt end, but I spent two years writing this, um, almost like a folk opera you could call it, uh, and then Paul McGann, the actor, narrated it, and it was, um, yeah, it was a wonderful thing. We had visuals as well on the tour. It became an album called The Pilgrim's Tale. And it was a you know, song by song um, a story of, of their struggles. You know, the, the, as soon as they get to America, the, um, the Wampanoag perspective as well, a Native American tribe. Um, so it, it was, you know, it was a fascinating thing to be part of. Shame it had to end so abruptly. You know, it was... It's, we, we, we played eight shows and then that was it. You know, two years of work for eight shows. So I, I do feel um, a bit cheated by it all. But, you know, that, that was the whole of the Mayflower events down in Plymouth where I come from. And, you know, there's a lot more that they had to suffer as well. So, Will you be able to revive it, do you think? Or is it... it was, the problem with something like that, a concept record, you know, it was, it was that year. <laughs> it was an anniversary year. So we've moved on. There's a new album and, yeah. So, forward, yeah, yeah. so it doesn't quite have the same ring if you add an extra one to it, does it really? It's tricky that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, who knows? We'll wait and see. I'm, we should definitely do it at some point again, but, you know, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, what else have you got planned now? Another tour uh, in November, and it's 15th anniversary. Talking, talking of anniversaries, uh, 15th anniversary of Freedom Fields, so we're going to go out and play that one. It's not something I'd like to do. Uh, necessarily because I mean I love the album but I like looking forward rather than backwards um, but I think we're going to release this new album at the same time so we'll have like a combination of, of the old album and a new one you know so when's the new album coming out so November I think yeah, yeah. it's got a title yet make your mark yeah, make your mark, yeah. So we'll look out for that in November and obviously the tour to go with it Cracky. will you be playing any any of the new stuff today? lots of new stuff actually yeah we have three maybe three or four songs yeah 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 lots going on yeah yeah, Excellent. yeah, yeah. all right well thank you very much and we'll look forward to it cheers thank, thank you, you.